Hello everyone, today we're sitting down with Russell Pfister, the CEO of the NASL. Hello Russell. How you doing? Can you tell us a little bit about your expectations for the NASL 3 finals and uh, if they've met them? Um, we expected this one, we figured we'd knock it out the park. Um, I mean, with this season, with all the upgrades we did and, you know, increased viewership, kind of building that storyline up to this finals, uh, we felt that we would, you know, have all eyes on us. Um, Canada, being here in Toronto, um, has, I would say has exceeded our expectations. Um, you know, you watch online sales, which were incredible, but the, the turnout here, um, I, I couldn't be more happy with the turnout here. Could you share any specific figures in terms of attendance? This is probably what, 4,000 people in the building, 5,000 ticket sales, you know, right now. And on the stream? The stream, I've, I've seen, you know, at north of 50K someplace uh, yesterday. Um, and pretty solid, pretty solid over 40, 40, you know, that's that's the currency we trade in is peak concurrence, because that's one thing that everyone sees. So I'll share what you can see on that one. So. Can you talk about your decision to come to Canada? Um, yeah, I th we you know, with uh, WCS and the opportunities with Blizzard, um, we had the North American Nationals, you know, America and uh, Canada, and we decided with our, we looked at our viewership and our number one city, our number one country is the uh, U.S. watches us, but the number one city was Toronto, and it sounded like a really good idea. So, you know, here we are in Canada and they didn't let us down with, uh, with the uh, support we have. Could you offer any insight into why you think uh, the fans in Toronto were so passionate? Well, I mean, they haven't had many uh, big events out here, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, I, they're excited to have us here, but I think they're also trying to tell the world that, um, you know, everyone should come to Canada, that, um, you know, we want this, and they're, they're, they're partially here with a chip on their shoulders saying that, um, you, know, you know, more people should come out here. What do you think you could have improved upon? Uh, in terms of this event for next year? Um, I think, you know, with these sort of uh, numbers, we can, you know, have, get a bigger venue, um, get more, you know, more things here, out here. And I think, um, yeah, I, this went pretty good. I mean, there's, as far as anything, you know, we can add more more content, more things, but I think it was pretty pretty tight. And NSL appears to have taken it upon themselves to promote uh, lesser known games, such as Han, and uh, this year you had Tribes. Um, can you talk about uh, if you think it is your responsibility to encourage esports growth in other games? Yeah, I think you know esports is. Um, I think it's very good to support developers who have the vision for esports. It's, it's it takes a developer that wants to push it. You know, you need good balance. You need all these key things in place. So, but also for esports, you need a good product to show the audience. And we want to work as many developers as, as would like to. You know, show them how to do that, and I think even things like you know uh, tribes and that sort of stuff, which is much harder to spectate, it's working with the developers and saying, hey, these are things that we need to, you know, build into the game, and, and these sort of things to make it better and more, more uh, audience friendly. Mm -hmm. um, because with esports, I mean, you have one that's great to play, but they're even better when they're great to watch because then there's you know storylines, and you you want to be like this player and follow his play style. I think it, I think that's very important. Could you shed any light on which games we might expect for next season? Um, you know, we'll we'll keep we'll announce them as as we get them. But it, it's um, it's it's something we're always working with and uh, talking to many people. Now, NSL is now three seasons old, and uh, StarCraft is of a similar age, StarCraft Two. Can you talk about the challenges you faced in season one compared to this season? Uh, if they've changed anything? Yeah, NSL specific or StarCraft specific? Um, NSL specific. Well, I mean, season one was, uh, we <laughs> we were kind of shot out of a cannon. Um, you know, for what our expectations were, we exceeded all of them. You know, we were, you know, uh, uh, you know, being compared with majors in, and, you know, uh, and we had growing pains with six people. We kind of started with, it was, um, it was rough to spin up. I mean, we had one editor, I think, trying to do all this content as we did and, uh, uh, you know, was, you know, fixing those things and moving forward. and. Um, I mean, now it's the same. It's the same, I guess, just bigger scale growth. Um, but it's always been, you know, fixing, shoring things up, and moving. And I think it, it's much, you know, much better now, as as we can see for things that um, I think we've always given a good product. Um, and it's just a matter of uh, I feel that we've been on the the front edge of things of 1080p all the time for daily content. Um, and in you know now we're able to go you know true live with graphics and the whole level where. Anyone can come out for a weekend with these sort of things, but you know, we're there the next day too. 
um, with our content. The challenges that faced StarCraft II specifically in growth in your first season, um, are they the same challenges you face today? Um, you know, I, we've got, um, you know, StarCraft is a great title from a great developer, which has two expansions announced with Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void. I think, uh, you know, when they say 18 months, you know, between expansions, with Blizzard, that's one developer we know that um, it's at the very minimum, 18 months between expansions that uh, when it's ready and when it's right is, um, you know, usually a little bit longer than we all hope for, right, for the game we want to play. So I think uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for when the, you know, the, the campaign players and the storyline single player who peaked in, you know, after beta and launch of, of Wings of Liberty on the esports world and then, you know, finished the campaign and the storyline and went on to other things. When they tune back in, uh, esport, the esports baby has grown up quite a bit and I think uh, there'll be a lot of new eyeballs you know tuning back in to check on their favorite title and I think it'll be uh, be great for the sport. I spoke to EG Idra and EG in control yesterday they believe many teams are uh, missing out on marketing their players do you believe uh, as a tournament organizer do you believe that that will help your tournaments other teams marketing themselves? Yeah I mean one of the things we wanted to in the NSL is to be able to support the player and make it you know even with the prize money you know we we came out and said we were leading things, we pushed prize money up. We were the first to announce that big of a prize pool at the time. Um, teams are also important. Um, these are you know, usually very young kids when they get into this and they need the support. We want teams to be able to support them to make sure they, they can succeed and excel. And part of that is marketing it. You know, I think the team, that's not the player's responsibility so much as the team to, um, I think they're missing out. And there's a lot of teams I know that um, uh, Quantic has done a good job with this too, where um, you have to view it as a as a media organization to um, promote your, your your players. Russell, thanks for your time. Do you have any anyone you want to thank, sponsors or fans? Well, obviously, I'll thank my thank all of our sponsors. Uh, also, uh, I mean, Canada. You know, I guess I'd say Toronto, but I think people have driven from all over Canada to be here, and, and we're happy to be here. Um, yeah, and thanks to, for all you guys coming out and covering things like this. It's great. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you.